All right, guys, Rob here with T1G again. What we're going to do next is we're going to skip rounds off of the hood. Why would we want to do this? Thanks for asking. So you always see in television, movies, cop shows, everything like that, guys get out of a vehicle and they run around and they use the hood for a stability position, meaning I want to come up here and I place my arms on the hood while I'm engaging in a firefight. We don't actually want to do that in real life. Reason being is bullets will skip off of the hood depending on the angle in which they are shot. So what we have here is we have two targets set up. Notice that they are at the same height. What we're going to do is we're going to take a couple steps back, get to about 10 meters. We're going to shoot some 9 mil at this hood. We're going to get a couple of rounds to skip off the hood. What you'll see is if you're right up on top of the hood, you're still going to get hit with the bullet in the secondary fragmentation. If you're a couple feet off of the hood, you still have the same cover and concealment provided for you by the vehicle, but you're inside of that safe deflection angle where all the rounds are gonna go over top of your head. So let's step back and let's shoot it. So you'll notice where the rounds hit the hood of the vehicle. Some of them started to dig in, others of them skipped off. Now when the bullet comes in and hits the hood at an angle, as it digs in and curves out, you, that's where you get that deflection that, it, that we're seeing here. This guy gets out, he comes over, he rests right on top of the hood. He's using this hood as a stable shooting platform. We see it a lot on television. It wouldn't have ended good for him. Four feet back, same guy, same height, and what you notice is no rounds impacted him. One got close, but it's not horseshoes or hand grenades, so he lives. So that was skipping rounds off the hood with the 9 mil. We're going to go ahead and mark up these holes and step back to the same distance and shoot it with 5.56. Five, See what kind of deflection we get with that. Taking a closer look here with the 5.56, five, you'll notice that we only had one out of the five that actually skipped off. Some of the other ones, the four out of the five dug in. Now, if we take a look at both of the targets, we'll notice the one that was right up on the hood, he got hit 100% of the time. So being on top of the hood, trying to use it for a stability position, 100% of the time, you're getting hit either with the bullet or with the secondary fragmentation. Four feet back with the nine mil, we didn't get hit at all. One out of five rounds, he got hit there, lower neck, higher chest area. So 20% four feet back versus 100% of the time right up on the hood. That's showing you guys how when you get out of a vehicle and you wanna use it for cover, just getting a couple more feet helps you out when you're inside that safe deflection angle. Right up on it, 100%, four feet back, 20%. We'll take those odds. You got any questions or comments, leave them below.